In the previous sessions, we learned how to solve various linear equations in one variable. Friends, in this session, we will see some common mistakes related to this concept, which can easily lead to confusions. Look at this equation. Can you tell me if it is a linear equation in one variable? We know that the equation is a linear equation in one variable when its highest power is 1. Notice that in this equation, the highest power of the variable is 1. So, this should be a linear equation, isn't it? Wait, don't jump to any conclusion. Before we examine the highest power of the variable, we should try to simplify the equation. Do you remember how to simplify this equation? For this, in our previous session, we have seen the cross multiplication method. By cross multiplication method, we will get this equation. Now let us remove this bracket. Our next step looks like this. Now, after checking the highest power, we see that it is 2. So, this is not a linear equation in one variable. With the help of this example, we have understood that before we examine if the equation is a linear equation in one variable or not, we have to change it to its simplest form. Let us see one more common misconception. Suppose we have this equation. Can you find the value of x here? This is very simple equation to solve, isn't it? If we simplify the left hand side, we get this. Now, we will send 6 to the right hand side. We will now get 0 on the right hand side. So, what should we do now? Most of us think that there is no solution to x. But it is not so. Can you tell what does this equation tell us? This equation tells us that the value of x is the number that gives us 0 when it is multiplied with 3. Do you know any such number? Absolutely correct. 0 is the only number which can do so. So the answer is 0. Hence, the value of x is 0. There is one more method to find this answer. In this equation, we divide both sides by 3 and then we find 0 by 3 on the right hand side which is equal to 0. Get x is equal to 0. So in this session, we have seen two types of mistakes that we do when we solve linear equations in one variable.